Hello guys, Alex here, welcome back to my second Discord tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do permissions and roles for a Discord. Now, permissions and roles, they're probably one of the most important parts of a Discord. You control, you can control pretty much what anything your users can do in your own server. I'm going to be setting up the demo by creating a few quick categories and then channels so we're going to have a test category and in here we're going to put a test channel in and then a test to channel just to show off what we can do so head into your server settings and well let's have a look when you first make a server you will get this lovely role at everyone now this is the permissions for absolutely everyone in the server without a role so, if you head back to this role, you can see there are a lot of permissions. Now, most of them are staff. Now, you can do a lot of things. For example, you can deny them the permissions to change their nickname. You can stop them from sending text to speech messages. You can stop them from mentioning everyone or here. You can also stop them from using external emojis. Now, this only affects Nitro members normally. So. Leaving this on or off doesn't really matter, in my opinion. And then you have the voice permissions. Now, these are the normal settings that I set up for an at everyone role. Always leave them this permission here, unless you don't want them inviting, or you want them to use a specific invite. Click save, and your permissions will be affected. But, if you think, hey, why can I still change my nickname and type TTS and mention everyone? That is because if you made the server, you're an admin, and no matter what roles you have, even if you're going to members, for example, it will show you this. This crown, this person is the server owner and always has all permissions regardless of roles. Yeah, pretty cool. Now, I'm going to go into the server settings more in depth later on in another tutorial, but this is mainly just for the role since it's a major part. So you can go ahead and create a role, for example. Let's say we want the dev tag. You can allow them to mention the role. Uh, set a color, of course. So, now, by the way, just so you know, guys, you cannot set colors or change these two settings for the everyone role. So uh, we want to show it separately. And let's say we want the developer role to be able to hmm, view the audit log and manage roles. Let's also see we want them to manage channels, hit combine members, change their nickname, manage others' nicknames, and delete messages. And let's also give them these free permissions. There we go. Now, there you go, you can give yourself the role, it doesn't matter though. There you go, you now show separately with that colour. Now, say we don't want users to be able to access this entire category or see it, we can click edit permission this and go here we can deny them these three permissions we read message history send messages and read text channels and see voice channels denying them that means that nobody without admin permissions can see it and we can enable the developer role to see it and there we go that's the basic permissions which means if you don't have the developer role you cannot see these channels so, say you want to be able to see test 2, but only developers can chat there. Well, it's simple. Allow them to read messages. Don't allow them to send messages, and allow them the read message history permission. Then, developer, do the same, but allow them to send messages. It's very basic, and you can also do all the permissions, but it's kind of unnecessary. So, that's pretty much it. You don't have to go into anything else for roles, you can do a lot more with permissions. You can even make a verification system, so only members, when members first join, they only get to see a chan at one channel. And once they type something, for example, you can give them a role which hides that and it shows the rest of the server. That's just a recommendation though. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and just remember guys, if you are a Discord Pro, don't leave comments of hate down in the description, because I'm mainly doing these tutorials for newbies to Discord, or if you just need help. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Bye!